Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to Normal Films. Today we're going to continue our iPhone tutorials and this tutorial we are going to cover the App Store. And uh, in my App Store or your App Store, it's going to look like just like this on the screen. I am dragging the application around right now and uh, you'll be able to find it uh, most likely on your home screen. But then if you can't find it or you're having a hard time finding it, you can also swipe down on your screen and search App Store and uh, one of the first ones should come up which would be App Store. It might be Apple Store. Apple Store and App Store are two different things. Uh, but so what you want to do is just go to App Store, not Apple Store. Apple Store gives you like products like their computers, late, latest computers, their latest iPhones. Now App Store is just for applications. And so just go open up the App Store one. And uh, right here it will take you straight to the featured and what's like best new games and stuff. You can swipe from left to right to uh, scroll through all of them or you can if you see this little option you can hit the see all option right there where it says best new apps just to the right of it says see all I believe I have it highlighted here and you can click on that as well and then from here you also have best new apps and then also best new game updates as well and then you, and then you, you just simply tap on the app and it'll open up the app for example a very popular app Minecraft here and it will tell you one of the biggest updates and you can ch check its reviews photos reviews related like related apps and then also if you go back to details you can also see the images of the app the description you can hit the little more option to see more about the app and then what's new and then information who made it and then also give you some links here to the like for example version history developer website privacy policy developer apps and uh, that's within the app itself then you can also at the top right hand corner you can also share the app from here and share it to your friends you can gift it uh, and link it and get even give it to people that you may know now for for now uh, let's just go on to uh, top charts from here and we can see that from here we can see like the apps basically from one to I believe it just keep, it will actually keep on going as you scroll scroll down but the very top up right now is a heads up which has been top app for a while now and then if you go to the next category here the top free top charts are for free guess the emoji is the number one at the moment then if you go to top crossing the app that is making the most money at the moment is uh, clash of clans and uh, if you go down to uh, also you have this option the top left hand corner the categories option you can also find it in the featured tab at the very bottom here and then top charts also near near me no near me doesn't have the option but top charts within top charts and featured you'll have you can see the uh, option categories at the top left hand corner of your screen if you click that you can from here you can basically browse apps by categories and uh, if you let's say you're bored and you're just looking for apps and you're looking for a particular type of apps you can go to for example games and you could go to adventure and just browse them all by just simply dragging down it'll give you all those apps by uh, for uh, for an adventure type of app so we're gonna go back to top charts I'm gonna tap on the tap on the bottom right here top bottom right hand corner here I'm um, actually I'm gonna go back to all games take it all take me all the way back to top charts now we're gonna move on to your near me which I don't have enabled because that requires that you use lo your uh, location services and it when it searches for my location to find maps near me, it uses my battery, which I don't like. So I have that disabled, but it's uh, near me shows apps that are popular near your current location. And most of the time, it's just like sports news channel apps, just channel apps basically, all like TV related. And then uh, using near me will send information to Apple about your location. That's what it basically does as well. And if you do want to enable this, if you have this screen, you can go to click on the show popular apps near me. It will take you and you can go to settings, turn on location services to see apps that are popular near your location. Also, if you already have location services on to your for your app store, it will actually just automatically enable it and show the apps near you. And then also you can disable it by going the same way. Uh, 
which is settings, location services, and then disable app store. Then if you have you have the just to the right of near me, you have search at the very bottom here. This is what I'm talking about. Um at the very bottom near me. If we go you can go to search and from here you can search any you can search either by app name or by the developer name. For example, words words with friends is a very popular app or at least used to be you can give you some main apps basic apps that are very similar to it and then also the main app and then we can search for Zenga which is the developer of uh, words with friends and you can just tap right here the suggested and it'll show you all of the apps made by Zenga and uh, which is really way a really good way to search for a particular app as well. So now I'm going to clear my search. Then you have just the last tab, at the very bottom right hand corner, you have the updates tab. And from here, you'll see all of your updates or any current updates or any updates that need to be done. And their new layout is a lot better. It tells you when you have updated the app, also like the app, and you can see what's new within that uh, up the app update. Then also, you can view the purchased you can choose on the purchase and from here if you're logged in under your account you can see what apps you've purchased previously and the, if you already have them downloaded or not and then for example you can go to purchase and go to on not on this iPhone and you can it'll show you some of that applications as well but other than that you guys that's the basics of the app store be sure to leave any comments or questions in the comment section below thank you guys for watching catch you guys next tutorial and later Life be the proof, the proof of your love.